Hey guys, this is Dabson Ishmael. I hope you are staying safe, especially during these times of coronavirus. Now, I'm going to record a couple of tutorials in the coming weeks. Um, these tutorials are going to be based on WYSIWYG Web Builder extensions. So, as you can see, there's been a couple of extensions which have been released. Some are free, some are paid on WYSIWYG Web Builder. Now, one challenge you might face or encounter is that most of these extensions doesn't come with tutorials you can learn from. So I'm trying my possible best to figure out how some of these extensions work and then I record tutorials on them. So for this particular tutorial, we're going to take a look at how to work with the Zoom Scroller extension. So the Zoom Scroller extension basically allows you to add an image to your site. And then once you scroll, it then zooms in. So it can be part of your content, a very interesting and unique way you can actually add to your content. So this is the zoom scroller extension. So I'm going to go ahead to head to WYSIWYG Web Builder. And then first of all, I'm supposed to have the extension installed. So that is what I'm going to do. So as you can see, I already have it installed. But in case you don't have it, what you can do is to come to tools and then you come to the extensions manager. Once you open the extensions manager, this is going to give you an overview about the extensions you have installed already. So click on all under the online gallery and then select um, yes to retrieve the extensions from the internet. Now, once this is done, um, so this is going to take some few seconds because of the internet speed I'm currently on. But once that is done, all you have to do over here is to search for the extension. So zoom scroller because i already have it installed that's why i'm not seeing it here but since you may not have it installed once you search for it then you see it over there so you just go ahead and hit on the install and then that's just about it so once you are done the next thing is you are going to see this extension in your toolbox at the very bottom so you click on it um the zoom scroller and then you draw on an empty space on your canvas then you don't click on this extension. So it has a couple of properties you have to go ahead to configure. So the first is the duration of the animation. So this breaks some sort of animation when it is being zoomed in. So this is the duration. You can specify that here based on what's fine for you. And then you have the easing. So this is also how the animation is going to be done. So you can specify any of the um, animation um, easing over here. Then the next thing is the file name. So here is where you get to select the file you want to um, use. That's, this has to do with image. So you have to select an image file to use for that. So let me just select this particular image file. And then the initial zoom. So the initial zoom is how should the image be, um, be or look before the zoom occurs when you scroll. So this is currently 1.15, which I think it's fine. You can change it to 1.10 or any size that, it, that you think it's okay for you. And then the offset bottom. So offset bottom is um, what is going to be the space from the bottom of the um, image once you scroll to zoom in. And then you have the top offset, which also basically gives you the same thing from the top. And then finally, you have the zoom. So this is where you specify the zoom level once the zoom is um, being occurred on the image. So for here, let me just stick with, let's say, two, um, just to give us how this is going to look. So I've selected an image. And then I'll go ahead and click on OK. Now the image you've selected is going to take the size of the way you've um, um, stretched this particular uh, extension. That is a scroll zoom scroll extension. So let me just expand this a little bit more and then move it to the top left hand corner here. And then let me just go ahead to preview this. So as you can see, that's the image. Once I scroll, you realize that the zoom occurs. And this is actually a very cool way. Um, the scroll doesn't necessarily mean it has to scroll. Um, there should be a scroll bar on the page. But once you are using a scroll wheel on your mouse, you you or you, maybe once you are using your touchpad to have a, a scroll effect, you can actually go ahead to have this extension um, work in the way it has to be. So that is just about it for this particular tutorial. Do well to check other um, tutorials on the um, on extensions using Visual Web Builder, and then don't forget to smash the subscribe button in case you've not subscribed already to this channel so thank you very much for watching i'll see you in the next one